Hello, I'm so happy I got a hold of you. Welcome to another exciting episode of Lucius Showcase. I am Lucius T, and this week, wrapping up another one of my most expensive lists, I went for something that I really didn't think would be worth that much money, which is the Nintendo Power Collection. Now, I've been a Nintendo Power fan since before I can even remember how to read. I have almost the entire collection back to issue one all the way until issue 242. I don't have the last remaining 40 or so issues which I've, I've been trying to correct in recent years. I think I picked up about 20 of them, but there are still some issues left. And this is one of those things where I'm so glad I at one point considered selling the entire collection because it takes up so much damn room. I had a stack that's probably, you know, at least four to five feet tall of just Nintendo Power magazines and takes up a lot of space. Luckily I didn't, I still have them. And looking at the prices now, they're starting to get a little bit ridiculous and more so than the one to five dollars an issue you would find. So without further ado, also side note, all right, no more God of War videos. Every time I put out a damn God of War video, it does horribly. So yes, message received. But all right, let's move on to the insanely expensive issues of Nintendo Power. So, no surprise, the fifth most expensive issue of Nintendo Power I have is issue number two, which is the Simon's Quest issue. Now, why is this one more expensive than the other ones? Likely has to do with just the, the earliness of it. Uh, you know, the earlier issues in Nintendo Power are going to be expensive. This one goes for around $60. This is my childhood copy, which, by the way, is not my childhood copy, but my brother who was the original person who had the subscription. You'd say it says Matt Chapman there. Now, we never really pulled out the uh, the posters or anything. I'm trying to see if this poster is the, whatever this one is. What is this anyways? God, I can't even tell. Bionic Commando, that's cool. And that's what was always so nice is that you would get these posters, but then on the back there'd be something equally valuable, which is part of the reason why we never took them out of the magazine. This one has a full rundown of Simon's Quest, which Thank God, if I ever play Simon's Quest again, I probably should use this. Because how the hell do you get through that game? So that's number two. Or number five, rather. Number five. Now, moving on to number four. Before Nintendo Power was Nintendo Power, there was these things called Nintendo Fun Club News. Which, I always remember having these at the bottom of the stack. They were the thinnest things, they weren't really magazines. And it, it irks me, because I feel like we had all of them. We didn't just have the recent ones, because the, the Fun Club 1, 2, and 3, they weren't even really magazine likes as much as they were leaflets. But number four was Mike Tyson. And this is the, I guess, the progenitor to Nintendo Power, Nintendo Fun Club news. And this thing got crushed by hundreds of pounds of magazines for a good, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years at the bottom of there. It's in, it's still in decent enough shape, but it's rough. It maybe even has a little water damage. I don't know how the hell that happened. This alone, this little five, six page or 20 page magazine goes for $64. So $64 for Nintendo Fun Club, volume one, issue four. And there's seven of these. So I have volume four, five, six, and seven. I actually have two copies of six, the, the Zelda two one, which I don't know why. And once again, these were also before I was doing this actively. I was two. No, these weren't me. But still, super cool to have these. So glad that these didn't get destroyed being on the bottom of the freaking pile. Now I have the Nintendo Powers uh, able to be stand up this way instead of being compressed. Because it's funny, with the magazines, eventually you'll start to, you'll see them bow just like in a flask. They start doing that. But yes, that is number four. Now number three is actually the most recent issue of Nintendo Power. That's right. Number three is also an issue that was gifted to me by a subscriber of the channel, a guy named Will C, who apparently his family was in the newsstand business, so they must, they had a bunch of them, and he was generous enough to be like, hey, I'll send you the last issue of Nintendo Power, 285. This bad boy goes for $67, and I know I had said I was going to open it, but I just can't. I don't know what it is. I haven't gotten around to opening it. It's funny, the last issue of Nintendo Power I had came in one of these plastic things, because when your subscription was up, they generally would send you something with some panels or leaflets, or I don't know. I think my, my subscription always ended around January, so maybe it was involved with that. 
but it had a plastic thing on the top of the pile that my cat, when I first got my cat, the orange one who now can't even jump five feet, would jump to the top of the pile and he had a plastic fetish so he would rip the damn thing up and I ended up having to get rid of the plastic and I don't know what was on the top of that, it was like issue 242, but anyways. Last issue of Nintendo Power, this thing goes for $67, I don't know what it is unopened, I'll open it eventually, but very cool. Uh, thank you again, Will, for that. That was such a generous gift. One of the nicest things I've gotten on the channel, especially from a sub. And I love having this. Eventually, I want to get the entire run of Nintendo Power, which I should do sooner rather than later, because random issues are getting to be, you know, twenty, thirty dollars but very happy to have this one. Super cool, also nice little cyclical nature because number two most expensive issue of Nintendo Power, surprise, surprise, is issue number one. And now here is where we get a significant jump in the value. So this one, once again, you can see my brother was a subscriber from issue one. This one goes for 136 bucks for two, or for, for one of them. For issue number one, and you'll notice they, they did a cool thing with the final issue in the in the first issue. You know, there's the, the similarities. Now, here's the funny thing: when I went and pulled out my Nintendo Powers, I not only have one issue of number one, I have two. I don't know why we have two. I can only assume because my brother subscribed to it, they sent him the original picture, but or the original issue, but. One of the only things I can see is in here, there was a poll, which was a great marketing ploy in here, where it's literally, in general, how did you like the issue of Nintendo Power? Are you planning to subscribe to Nintendo Power? How many game packs do you currently own? How long have you owned the NES? Of the games reviewed below, which two did you enjoy the most? Please use the list of game titles on the next page to answer the following questions. What two games would you most like to see reviewed? What three games are you planning to purchase in the next year? Please indicate, in order of your preference, your five favorite games. And this had a grand prize, which I'd love to know who won these things. So for sending this in, you get a grand prize of Super Mario Bros. 2, and uh, I think that's it. So yeah, literally, great, you know, I'd do it, why not? Chance to get the brand new hotness that's coming out to Mario 2. But brilliant marketing, because then they get to see, oh, here's what people are looking forward to, we should cover that game. So yes, issue number one, I not only have one issue, I have two issues, and these go for $136. One of them was a subscriber edition, one of them is not, although at this point there wasn't much of a difference. One of the cool things I love about the first run of Nintendo Powers is they're larger, so to see how these, you know, if I put them side by side, the, the first issue comes up above it a little bit, and to the side of it a little bit, but then the spines, they had these different colors on it, so you, I don't know if you can see it there, it's blue versus the Simon's Quest one. That one right there, that's, I think that's a little bit darker. That's like a lighter, darker blue right there. Uh, but yeah, it just, it looks nice on the shelf. They all look nice on the shelf that way. Yes, and for my most expensive Nintendo Power item, it actually isn't a Nintendo Power item. It is the gold Nintendo Power controller that I ordered in the 100th issue I don't remember how I even got this. I feel like it was a contest thing and somehow I got it. And this became my controller of choice all throughout the N64 age. I played so much GoldenEye. Look at that thumbstick. Still got the springiness. Isn't loose at all. The Nintendo Power 100 kind of kind of rubbing off there on the uh, top a little bit. Uh, but still it's there. This bad boy, it's hard to lock down a value because not many of them come up. It says that it's worth about $160, but if you go on eBay, yeah, you'll see some selling for around there, but it's around $160, $200, something like that. One of my prized possessions in my collection. I absolutely love this, not just because of what it symbolizes, but the memories that are attached to it. Um, I, well, like I said, I was that weird guy who had to have my own controller, and I would not let anyone touch this. For good, I mean, that was one of the nice things about having it is because it was such a special controller, people understood. So I didn't look like the weirdos, like, you can't use my blue controller, that's my blue controller. Like, no, this is my, my gold Nintendo Power 100 controller. Because before this, there were no gold controllers. The Toys R Us Gold N64, I don't think, came out for another year or so. So having this, I definitely, if I wasn't the coolest kid in school, I definitely thought I was. All right. That actually was a swerve. That wasn't my number one. That was a bonus. My number one most expensive Nintendo Power is Random Issue 173. This bad boy goes for $200 now. 
This was not the case, I want to say, a year ago. I've been following my Nintendo Powers for a long time. It's always been issue number one that was most expensive. Why is this suddenly the most expensive issue? Why is this random-ass Rebel Strike GameCube cover issue the most expensive? Well, it's because what's contained within. If you remember in my Nintendo Power collection, you games or issues you have to get, some of these come with nice little bonuses, one of which being these stickers like I had on the back of my memory card, the Boba Fett sticker. Well, in this one, there was a little reader card that came out for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire called the Eon Ticket, which as you can see, because I did not play that, I still have it in my Nintendo Power, ready to rip off. This apparently unlocks a special island on Ruby and Sapphire that you can only access with that card. No other way to do it. I don't even know if you can, do, maybe probably a game genie or something like that. But yes, no other way but the Eon card or if you went to one of those Pokemon events, I would imagine like the same way you would get Mew. So that makes this $200. See, free Eon ticket in the inside right there. So having that, once again, me never pulling anything out of these issues pays dividends uh, other than the stickers and stuff. But yeah, kind of sad. I like the fact that issues number one and the last issue were the expensive ones, but because of crazy ass Pokemon collectors, you know, here you go. Just some random issue that I didn't even probably read when it came out is, uh, uh, maybe I did. I don't know. But yeah, you can see, see, there it is. Luke Chapman, my old address and everything. So yes, the provenance is there. And there you have it. My most expensive Nintendo powers. I know scraping the bottom of the barrel on these most expensive lists. Uh, some of my other things I've either covered and they'd be retreading old ground. Like it'd be interesting to see how the PS1 list is different now because I've added a few things, but more or less it is kind of similar. But yeah, that's what you get for this week, guys. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you like this topic. If you want me to cover anything else in my collection that's not as impressive. It's been so nice getting a hold of you guys. Take care.